What's up? Just uh, making another Dromai gameplay video here. I've paired into a Kano, which I'm ill-equipped to handle. Um, I do have, I think, 14 blues. However, I only have AB1 and uh, no Oasis for Spites. I do run sand covers, but um, this is pretty dumb, actually. I need to find one sideboard slot to have AB2 which still doesn't like make the matchup that much different, but you know, times like now would really help me. Just mitigate a bit of damage. Um, all right, we're gonna make, make some ash here. Um, the other card I'm not running is Thamai, just because that was a pretty good turn. Um, well, at the risk of getting burned down here, ooh, this is a really good start for them. So I could play the Chromai, but I think I'm just going to play Necria here to get a strong start. I feel like I'm I'm basically racing Kano. Um, you know, I don't want to give them time to like chip me down and get their combo set up, you know, like two E pots, a blazing an arsenal, draw the wildfire, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So I'm just going to uh, you know try to deal as much damage as I can and uh, try to go as fast as possible. I kind of did like an aggro sideboard. Smart, not letting me make an ash. Um, I did kind of an aggro sideboard here, except I did put in a lot of blues. Uh, let's, normally I'd want to play that, but just make an ash here. Sigil is nice as well. Um, I don't run Thamize. It's really good in this matchup because then they have to like find something that targets a Thamai for four damage or they have to lessen it and it's like all the while they're just leaking damage. Um, it's really, really good. But oh, speaking of really, really good. But it's just like a bad dragon in every other matchup except Wizard, and you're already favored in Icelander. So like three spots is quite a lot. I chose to make some sideboard calls for the more aggressive matchups. Um, I think Kano might be fairly popular, though, so I do need to be able to you know, compete in this matchup. Uh, what I do have going for me is it's really hard for them to clear dragons, and they don't have any poppers. So it's like... Once I play Necria, it's just doing four damage a turn in that the dragons, you know, multiply and just really put Kano on a clock here. So while I can get burned alive pretty fast, you know, um, I also set up kind of a state that makes it hard for them to compete. I blocked uh, one AB there so, because if they see five cards, they choose the four they draw and know what's on top. This way they choose the four they draw, but they still don't know, you know, uh, what's what's on top of their deck, which is like quite a lot better. The opt four is quite a lot better than uh, the or the opt four is quite a lot better for me than the opt five. Which is good for them though, because it strips a card out of my hand. Turns out it wasn't, um, you know, that important, but this is pretty good. So another thing I've going for me is like sigils are pretty nice. They don't like mitigate the exponential Kano damage, but the life gain um, is like hard for them to deal with, right? Like they're trying to get me to the certain threshold and Oops, 
Oh, dang. I should have played Kyloria. Forgot I had another action point. Talking and playing. Um, that's okay. This is fine, though, because I can still like play this next turn. And I got the sigil in. Um, I still haven't found a rake, which is kind of one of the things I want. Um, let's burn them all. Actually, it will do some damage. Uh, I don't think I'm going to block any of this. Just because I think these cards... Oh, wait. Play, playing Passing Out doesn't do anything for me. So I can play Burn Them All and Sigil and Epot next turn, though, and block some damage. So maybe, maybe I won't block any. Um, yeah, I was saying that I uh, I would like to find some rakes because then, you know, my 14 blues do more than uh, <laughs> AB1 here. Um, but Crown is fine against Icelander, but it's uh, since Kano has no physical damage, it really, really goes down in value. I'm sorry, I'll turn that off. All right, they found a Sonic Boom to draw, which is uh, just fine with me. All right, how do I want to do this? I think I want to... Just looking for damage here. So I'm going to play out this E-Pot just because it offers me protection later on, which is pretty good. A lot of people say that Kano is like playing solitaire. It's kind of a one-sided um, matchup, which is like, those complaints are fair to some degree, but I don't know. I play a lot of Kano and it's, it's not actually it's not like they're playing solitaire and then i just win or lose really what they're trying to do is attack your hand on your turn and then on their turn as well so they get two hands for your one and they're kind of trying to strip your hand especially before like a, a combo play um yeah i'm gonna take that funny they didn't pop it huh i guess better than the draw So you're kind of playing this game where you're like trying to maintain your life total, but really you're just trying to um, not like not let them attack your hand or strip your cards so that you, yep, Sonic Boom, so that you're like unable to defend yourself when when it's critical, if that makes sense. Um, let's see. So next time I'm just going to play rake and I have two E-pots. Um, I think I am going to block some of this because then I can block whatever they hit as well. Now with these two E-pots out, that's pretty nuts. <laughs> Kyloria just chomped an E-pot. Oh, that's not a great hit. Unfortunate. All those cards went to the bottom they opted. I'm sure they're just digging for combo pieces. So now they have an, an opportunity to um, attack me before I get this arcane barrier, which is kind of, if they have it, they kind of need to because right now, despite all my resources, I can only AB1 each time. Um, and I haven't seen a sand cover. They don't know that, but... Um, after this, I will uh, have some pretty good protection. Should have brought AB2, though. Starting to get a little scary. Yep. Now they probably have a lesson or a blazing in hand. Um, I don't think they're going to be able to kill me, but 
we will see. Block one of that. This isn't bad though. They got set up before I could get a higher AB count, um, but me stealing their energy potion was maybe what won me the game, to be honest. Or could win me the game. I could very well die here. Oof. They just hit a blazing off the top. Yep. Looks like I'm actually dead here. Ragamuffins. So they're going to get to double blazing, I think. Oh, nope. Hmm. So they're not ragamuffinsing, which means they, I don't think they had a piece in hand. Um, but they could still draw one and still utilize it here. So pretty good on their part, hitting the tome and the blazing blind. I'm pretty sure they bottomed the three cards that they, uh, centering foresighted. Yep. So this is just, uh, just nice hits. I can fortunately threaten lethal if uh, they don't win here. But um, if they can find the double blazing, I think they most likely kill me. I'm not going to bother doing the math. Yeah, so unfortunately they didn't have some blind Kano. They put their ragamuffins on the bottom. <laughs> And didn't get a free hit. So they're looking for a free blue there. Um, unfortunate, it didn't really work out quite as well as they uh, would have liked. But um, now I'm just gonna. Well, there's the Kano matchup when it goes favorably for me. Um, I think sand covers do really help. Like they can play um, wildfire and you can play a sand cover and then they will, you know, play something else in response to eat up your sand cover, but it still is pretty good because then whatever they're playing to eat the sand cover will not proc off the blazing. So it's still like, vastly mitigates their combo. Um, so that card's still very good while being like a red that's really good against guardians um, as well. Uh, Oasis is better in this matchup. It's just like not as good. Um, or I found it's not as good against guardians. It's like a little bit better against um, Icelander and Kano. But uh, there's, you know, such a spread of heroes that I've found it difficult to, you know, like properly sideboard for each one. So I go for the kind of the middle ground of sand cover. Like I said, I'm also not running Thamize, which, um, you know, would make it a lot harder on them if I like, cause then I'm looking for rakes, Thamize, sand covers, Oasis. You know, if you have a lot of Kanos at your at your locals, that's like 12 cards you're looking for in the deck that make life a lot easier for you. Um, and it helps to have a lot of blues, but you know, even if you don't, like even if you have AB2, you can like pitch to furnace to block two of the wildfire, and that ends up blocking like, you know, eight or 10 damage across the combo. So, you know, even that is uh, fairly beneficial. Um, 
but again, like I, I should have AB two, but running AB one with like a red heavy deck and a a slower deck, right? Like you're not as fast as fire, like dash or whatever, no matter how hard you try. So um, it's definitely like fairly risky into Kano. Um, I played the Kano side a number of times in this matchup and it's, it's, it's not that bad for Kano. It just sucks when they like tumble tie your boots before you're ready or like um, play a Thamai out. Um, then you're really screwed. But if, you know, they don't like happen into one of those cards really early at a time when you don't have a lesson or Aether Dart or something, then you're able to, you know, kill this pretty red deck pretty quickly. So, uh, you know, I think it's a pretty interesting matchup. Maybe it's Drow My Favored. Definitely is if they have Oasis as well. But I don't know, just living dangerously. All right, thanks everyone.